uh, we discussed about how to if at all we have to criticize how to communicate sensitively how to criticize sensitively how to um, talk about other spiritual groups other spiritual groups other spiritual teachers how spiritual traditions so the first thing i talked about is we consider three parameters uh, overall we discussed the content the consequence and the intent so in content we speak that we speak what is truthful satyam in consequence we discuss what is pleasing and then what is what is helpful what is beneficial and intent we discuss that is non agitating so i discussed how do we go about applying these principles that was uh, the key focus of that ask a key, a key such discussion and i used the medical metaphor for understanding this that the doctor may have a party give a particular medicine with a particular intention and that intention might be good the medicine might also be right but sometimes it can have a contraindicative effect we don't blame the doctor we don't condemn the doctor in that case but still the doctor has to take responsibility and okay i won't do this in future so we can have contra indicative effect that means medicine can be contra indicative that means what basically healing one thing but much more worse than that is it ends up harming other things so we may correct one conception but in that process we may end up harming other other conceptions we may create more alienation so in that connection i discuss three criteria how do we understand what is the contraindicative so i discuss about this non uh, truth means we discuss it is aligned aligned with pratyaksha anumana shabda depending on the context of what truth we are talking about in terms of non agitating we try to have that attitude of service of compassion then in terms of consequence we have to look use our intelligence to try to estimate what is going to affect of this and then we have to observe so in now the part of the observation we discussed we can observe based on desh kal patra so in desh i talked about these four kinds of communication insider outsider and i discussed how bhaktino thakur says that that what is appropriate for insider insider communication the controversial superiority of one's own teachers that might not be applicable for uh, that should not be done for inside or outside or or outside outside kind of communication so there are so basically understanding which place i'm speaking at is also important and then after that i discussed the kal we are living in the internet age and that means that we are all vulnerable we have to take far greater responsibility because the speed the fragmentation and the permanence once it is there we may delete it but it stays on that's why we have to consider it and finally it's patra patra means we don't have to necessarily elevate everyone from where they are to the level of shuddha bhakti it could be just one step forward so especially in public forums we don't have to necessarily challenge people's philosophy uh, especially uh, we, we don't have, we, can, we don't have to definitely counter a person we don't have to counter even their philosophical teaching there could be a points of agreement in cultural teaching so if they just get a general appreciation for something that they already appreciate and say oh you are a broad minded person you are an intelligent person your body say makes sense so in general in public question answers it's best to take a intel approach and later on when that person is become more of an insider then more esoteric truths can be spoken appropriately thank you very much hare krishna